Hello guys, I'm Yash. Today I will show you how to use table view with custom cell. I know it's very tricky, it's very tough. No, but it's very simple. Let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it table view, and do check the settings. Next, save it wherever you want. Let's hop over to main.storyboard. First, we need to throw in a table view. Let's add some constraints, 0 from top, 0 from left, 0 from right and 0 from bottom. Do check this red lines and uncheck this constraint to margin thing. Update to new constraints, add 4 constraints. Let's throw in a cell. Uh, let's give it a fixed hi uh, height of 100. Go to this thing which is size inspector, uh, hit 100 and enter. Let's change color of the background so we can see what we are doing. Let's give it yellow. Let's say yellow. I'll take it out later. Okay, anyways. Let's throw in a label. We will display name of people. Let's make it big. Very big. Big. I like it king size, huh? Let's give some constraints horizontally and vertically in container. Let's give it a fix. Height and width. Okay, good to go. All blue lines, we are good. Centrally aligned. Let's bump up some uh text size so yes we are done let's create a new file for the custom cell so right click on the folder new file which will be of coco touch class and it will be a subclass of ui table view cell name it custom cell okay and hit next create okay now go to main.storyboard Select your custom cell or else you can do it from here table view cell go to identity inspector and Type in the name you just created for the file which will be custom cell hit enter Don't forget to hit enter hitting enter is very important. Okay, otherwise it won't work Now I will show you a trick Hold on option key or alt key and click your just created file now this will open uh, assistant editor with the current file you just clicked okay so you don't have to mess around here cool trick huh click on label control drag it here name it name title okay good to go so we are done with this uh, okay we need to do one more thing along with uh, we need to attach our table view so again uh, press options and open our view controller file now uh, select table view here and control drag it here and name it table view cool 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 so we are done with the storyboard uh, so let's open this code editor standard editor whatever you say here it is okay first of all we need two protocols uh, what is this error about? Okay, I know the error. I'll tell you later. So first protocol is table view delegate and table view uh -uh, table view data source. Okay, now press command and click this table view data source thing. Now we need this. Uh, see, other functions are optionals. Uh, so we need this to function so just copy paste it <laughs> a lot easier right paste it here get rid of all this stuff uh, create parentheses and uh, see we need to return an integer so for now just to get rid of the errors let's return one and under this ui table view cell again let's create parentheses and return ui table view cell okay and parentheses so we should uh, get rid of this error uh, I'll build it you will see okay the error is gone now this yellow icon is for uh, we forgot to name our cell we need some reusable name we will be using it later so here it is uh, let's select our cell identifier okay so let's name it same as our file which will be custom cell oh 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 cell okay hit enter good to go the error should go boom i know my code guys i know my code 
so let's start messing around okay first of all let's create a variable of names okay names 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 uh, let's what do you like I like Amit I like Akash triple uh, A triple A Akash I like uh, James as in James Bond and I like uh, mm, what's a uh, Janet I like Janet okay so here are the names so la, now we will uh, under this table view function which is saying number of rows so let's think guys how many rows we need we need number of rows uh, how many names we have okay equal to the count of the names array so let's return names dot count symbol okay we are done with this function now the best part lies here okay first of all let's create a cell now we need to reference to our cell okay this custom cell so which will be uh, first of all and we uh, one more thing guys under view did load we need to type in uh, table view dot delegate equals to self and table view dot data source is again self okay good to go good to go and uh, let's hop over here just type in dq uh no 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 uh, table view dot dq reuse reusable cell with identifier for index path okay identifier will be the identifier we just gave right custom cell i'll show you oh, which identifier okay here is the identifier select your custom cell this is the identifier okay so again let's get rid of it and index path will be index path okay good now we have and we need to say it as custom cell okay good good now we can use uh, okay we need to downcast it so let's add exclamation after as okay now easy cell dot name title okay name title is this thing this thing we just uh, we created okay we attached it's an IB outlet now let's hop over here name title dot text is equal to we need to fetch name from it here name from this uh, names array okay so it will be names let's uh, use indexing to reference it it will be indexed path dot row and let's return cell now I'll show you magic abracadabra hit command R command R let's run our app it's running come on it has to work and boom okay okay what uh, we can do is first of all let's give it a fixed height man why didn't it take my height okay we need height height okay uh we need to use this function height for row at index path and return 150 okay i like 150 i said 150 and let's get rid of this color okay this looks ugly uh table view oh okay content type hit this blue icon clear color and run it again it should work like magic I like this line guys always looking up here we have it height of 150 and it looks clean and neat okay good guys one more thing I'll show you uh, you can get rid of this intersection lines okay they look ugly as well so select table view here separator select none and uh, yeah good let's run it again it will look like we are viewing uh, one single plane okay weird but it's good to know no harm in knowing right so cool guys keep watching thank you